Hi everyone, today we're discussing the topic of PageRank. PageRank is Google's measure of importance of uh, a particular page on the internet. There's a, a, a big discussion about PageRank, what it is and what it is and, and how it works and how it flows. So in this session today we'll be uh, explaining all those concepts and quite graphically so. So let's start with uh, the first one. So uh, PageRank is a voting system invented by Google still back in the day when it was called Backrub. So the concept is that uh, by observing the link graph on the web, uh, we can ascertain um, how pages interact and how this wording, voting system works between the pages. So let's take a scenario where um, a very reputable um, page A links to a page B. And um, let's say that's an external site and this is a completely different site. So this link from page A to page B is essentially a vote from page A to page B. Now, this link structure can develop further if um, website B should link to the one marked as C, C might link to E, E might link to C in return, we might have this one linking to this one, and D linking to B. So this is a, a, practically a random linking structure based on um, this, the, the desire of these webmasters to interconnect. Google analyzes this link graph and decides pretty much how these websites will be ranked based on this endorsement and reputation system. So how PageRank operates is essentially what users see through the toolbar um, with the PageRank feature enabled. We see um, the values from 0 to 10 and in some cases PageRank is not available. When PageRank is not available, that a lot of webmasters go start panicking, saying, oh, the website or the page is penalized. That's not always the case, uh, because fresh content that's just been um, discovered or indexed or pages that haven't been discovered by Google yet always have PageRank NA um, or not available. Um, so the actual PageRank scale works from 0 to 10, 10 being the best and most authoritative, um, 0 being on the lowest on the scale. Um, now, the actual uh, sliding scale is not as, as simple as that. PageRank actually is a bit more complex and works on a finer level. So we might have a situation where a particular page has a PageRank of 2.63, which might result as appearing as uh, PageRank 3 on our toolbar. So there's varying degrees of this strength of a particular page. Now, when we're talking about um, a PageRank, uh, we have to remember that that's page rank, not site rank. There's no such thing um, as Google's site rank. Google measures and values each page um, separately. The fact that pages do on one site interconnect means that uh, page rank generally tends to flow throughout the site, resulting in the home page being the strongest page. But that does not always have to be the case. If a particular piece of content is very interesting on your site, earning more links and better links, high page rank links, um, it can happen that a subpage of your site has a high page rank than a home page. So um, another element that affects page rank and how it works is of course nofollow. Links that have nofollow tag on them do not pass page rank. Um, however, search engines will find out that next piece of content that um, is linked through nofollow tag, um, anchor text and link. So um, essentially page rank is just one of the signals that search engines use when particular Google uses um, to determine how well um, uh, reputable and how uh, well ranked a website should be. So um, when it comes to PageRank updates, a lot of webmasters are asking, oh, when is my website going to update uh, PageRank? I'm only PageRank 2, I want to be PageRank 4 and 5. It all rotates a bit about that toolbar value. Um, one thing that webmasters should really know is that PageRank updates all the time. Essentially, um, as soon as Google recognizes a link pointing to your site, it'll calculate that, that chunk of the page rank that that link lends to you and assign a new page rank value to you. Obviously, Google's trying to be smart about their resources, so they're um, doing public page rank updates, pushing the, the values to the toolbar um, only several times a year, usually around four times a year. Um, in fact, uh, this year there's been a very big gap uh, with some sporadic updates in between. When the major update of PageRank happened in April, I think on 1st of April, and um, it's November now and it still hasn't updated. Um, 
that situation happened, I think, back in 2006 or 7, um, when uh, there was a gap between April and October. So this seems like the biggest gap. So a lot of webmasters are currently speculating whether Google is actually going to cancel PageRank. So one thing to um, keep in mind is that um, getting PageRank is not something we should get obsessed with. PageRank is generally a very good indication of the strength of the website and reputation of a website. Uh, but some webmasters also tend to buy PageRank to earn that status um, uh, as a matter of a shortcut. So uh, getting PageRank is um, something that you should not obsess about, but instead look after your rankings and look after your content. However, if you do wonder about how to actually get PageRank, it's very simple. Let's take if this site A has a PageRank of 8. This web website is a PageRank of 0. If you happen to link um, this site, and let's say this site has less than 10 um, outgoing links on it, because number of outgoing links affects the, uh, the effect that um, the link will have, because uh, the outgoing, number of outgoing links actually splits up the page ring that's shared to external links. So if this one links to that one, wait a couple of months for Google's page rank update. Now keep in mind that page rank is actually already updated as soon as the link is recognized by Google. But if you want to see it publicly, this website linked from a page rank 8 site will in a very short period of time, perhaps 3-4 months, get a page rank 7. There's a big misconception that you need to get millions and millions and millions of links to earn a page rank 8 or 7. It's as simple as the fact of getting um, page rank 8, how to get one. Get a link from website or page that's page rank 9. Simple as that. So um, whether this is worth doing is probably not. Uh, because there are many other factors that Google looks at when determining how your website should rank. One of them is page rank. Of course, there's on-site elements, how your tags are structured, content, type of links that um, point to your site, the anchor text that points in, and many other th things. So number eight, is page rank dead? Um, I believe that Google eventually might phase out page rank as a public figure and uh, very soon start using it as, as an internal thing only. Um, there's some arguments as to whether that will help uh, page rank buying and selling and link trades and things like that, uh, because it'll be very hard for webmasters to tell what the page rank is. They'll be a little bit um, acting blind blindfolded. However, um, uh, if they do um, keep the page rank as an internal measure only, webmaster will still have the option of exchanging links and doing all those practices, which will not really help Google very much. Um, now, if I was to um, put my vote on whether PageRank is dead or not, not quite yet. And, and there's uh, a simple reason for that, because PageRank has been um, Google's um, cornerstone and they're, they're a feature that um, has really changed the way the search engines operate and that's what separated them from everyone else. Uh, for them to remove that would be not only um, a functional thing but also something a little bit emotional. After all, um, Page is the surname of the founder of Google. So this whole story here um, helps you understand how PageRank works and flows a little bit. And just to illustrate, um, if we start from PageRank 0 um, and end with PageRank 10, and if we consider this to be the number of websites on the internet, let's say most websites or most pages on the internet have um, PageRank 0, and that figure sort of goes down. And we're here at a situation where we're finding that less and less websites on the internet actually have high page rank. So um, this um, is just an illustration. This could be exponential, could be a little bit different, there could be some variations. Um, but this essentially highlights the fact that only a few websites on the internet have 10, a little bit more 9, a little bit more 8, uh, but these are still very few. Once we start getting into 7, we start seeing more and more in terms of numbers. 6 and 5, these are quite common, and uh, pretty much um, page rank between 0 and 4 um, a very big majority of the internet actually plays with those figures. That's all about PageRank for now. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask um, and um, stay uh, with us for the next week's uh, video in which we'll explain another in very interesting topic. Thanks, guys, and see you next week.